Romans 12, 6 through 8 says, Having gifts that defer according to the grace given to us, let us use them. If prophecy in proportion to our faith, if service in our serving, the one who teaches in his teaching, the one who exhorts in his exhortation, the one who contributes in generosity, the one who leads with zeal, the one who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. So what is this telling us? So, so whatever gift we have, whether that is a spiritual gift as is described, or maybe a more natural gift, whatever that may be, we are called to, to use it. We are called to put it to work. The Lord did not give us these gifts for them to lie dormant. They have been put in us for a purpose. Looking back at verse three through six, it, it talks about how we exist as members uh, individually as parts of one body. So we each have our own purpose, our own position, and our own combination of gifts. And then six through eight lays a sort of foundation to how we should use our gifts. Bearing in mind the context of spiritual or church gifts, but this still applies to other practical or natural gifts. So we are to use the gifts we have in a way that contributes to the whole body. Now, looking at verse 9 through 13, uh, so this, this touches on what it is to be a true Christian. It says, let love be genuine, abhor what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another with brotherly affection, outdo one another in showing honor, do not be slothful in zeal, be fervent in the spirit, serve the Lord, rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer, contribute to the needs of the saints, and seek to show hospitality. So this shows us that we are to be good stewards over our gifts. And also our Christianity has to permeate into our gifts, into our creativity. So one of the things I was thinking about as I was studying this, this scripture is sort of the dichotomy of being a Christian creative, having those two words together. So verse 9 through 13 shows what it is to be a Christian, and verses 6 through 8 shows us how we should use our gifts in relation to creativity. The, the, the way that I've been able to sort of frame this is uh, through certain lenses that we look at. So, so the different lenses that we have are the ways that we that we view the world, the ways, the ways that we interpret uh, things, people, situations, and our, our Christianity, our faith in Christ has to be that, that first and foremost lens, the, the, the biggest, uh, most upfront lens that we use to view the world. And then after that comes our creativity, uh, whatever else that builds up our, our own personality, our cultural background, ethnicity, but but none of those things come before our faith. When, when, we, when we place those other things before our faith, that means those other things take priority. It means we, we first view a, a situation based on our culture or based on our ethnicity or, or, our, or our gender before we view it based on our faith. Now that that's a whole other uh, project or lesson that I want to dive into in, in the future, um, but at least I wanted to have a sort of glimpse based on this scripture right here, what it is to have uh, one lens, one, one perspective, first and foremost, before the other. Our Christian lens and, and, then, our, and then our creative lens. So ultimately, our gifts are going to vary and differ in many different ways. 
We're going to have different combinations of gifts, uh, different ways in which we approach our, our culture and, and our race are even going to influence how we exemplify our gifts. But um, this is all in efforts of making us each individually unique as different parts of the same body, that, that whole body that, that is Christ. We, we, we all are within that body and we should operate uh, based on the gifts, based on the position, the placement given to us. So I wanted to shoot this video this way because the notes that I had weren't necessarily cohesive. Um, this, this study wasn't necessarily um, me studying for the sake of teaching, just from personal gain, getting understanding of what, what scripture um, really says about my gifts and my creativity. Now to get more insight and see a good example in the Bible showing us how, how one's gift is being used. Go ahead and click on this video that'll be up next week. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.